Five Questions with Leroy Butler is brought to you by Pottawatomi Hotel and Casino. Now, here's Tom Silverstein. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Five Questions with Leroy Butler, the bye week yes. edition. Yeah. Here we are. Why are we working? A uh, bye week. Well, we're Everybody always else is working. Off. We're working hard well, to entertain you. Matt LaFleur told me to work today, so I'm working. Yeah, you, you showed up late, by the way, so we got to dock your pay. Allegedly. Yeah. We don't get paid for this show. Well, I don't. Paid in gratitude. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. But I also want to thank, although Veterans Day was yesterday, mm -hmm. this entire month is salute to service, but we do it year round. We don't just pick a month to thank people that we love and respect, like our service men and women. That's why I wore my little stuff like mm -hmm. this. I just love the service men. If it wasn't for them, we can do this show. So salute to those people who've given their lives and everything so we can do this show and everything. So um, Veterans Day is one of my favorites. It really is. It really is. I had two brothers that was in, uh, one was in the Air Force, one was in the Army. Oh, okay. And they're like my heroes because they kept kids from pretty much picking on me when I was little mm -hmm. because I had club feed and I was disabled and in special needs. Right. But, so thank you to everybody in the military. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. What so you got for me let's, today? Uh, let's be nice today now. Okay. Let's, eight and two means you should be nice. Yeah, they're, they're coming off eight and two. Don't be all nitpicky today. 49ers losing at yes, home. The Saints yes. losing at home. This NFC picture is one? really up, up in the air. After the L.A., uh, what was it, 26 to 11 or 24 mm -hmm. to 11? Chargers you're thinking... Too. Every top team is going to have a loss. You just don't know when. I did not think Atlanta would beat the Saints no. after the Saints came off of a bye. Yeah, and at home. And at home right. to boot. Right. Didn't even score a touchdown. Yeah. So the Packers have gotten theirs out of the way. The Saints have gotten theirs out of the way. But if you look at the standings, what you're talking about, you're going to play San Francisco after the bye. Yeah. If you beat them, you're in the driver's seat. You are. I mean, you know, then you're probably competing with New Orleans and Seattle, and, yeah. and we don't know how that'll go. But the Packers, if you look at their schedule, they have an extremely favorable schedule. Mm -hmm. They come back. Uh, they have uh, the Giants at mm -hmm. the Giants. Mm -hmm. They have Washington at home. Mm -hmm. Then they have Chicago at home. Mm -hmm. Then they have a big game in Minnesota, which could yes. be for the division. Yes. And they have Detroit, Detroit. Uh, who who knows if well, Matthew Stafford will be there or not. So yeah, it, that's it's, good point. everything's fallen into place for them. Well, Matt LaFleur teaches us to go 1-0. and oh. We don't look ahead. Y'all media people do that, mm -hmm. which is fine, and the mm -hmm. fans. Mm -hmm. But I think the reason why Matt LaFleur's team is mentally focused, laser-focused, because, yes, it's setting up great for your team in his first year. Mm -hmm. So this is a great segue for me because this is what I'm hearing in the barbershop. Because people still don't want to give Matt LaFleur credit. Mm -hmm. So I tell him this. Who would you blame if it didn't go right? Say they were 2-8. and eight. Who would mm -hmm. you blame? You would blame the coach. Mm -hmm. So you have to give him the credit. Then they said, well, you, maybe you're right. So they've bought in. So now, what is, what are they going to work on during the bye week? That's my question to you. To me? Yes. Uh, I defense, can ask, Bills defense, I can ask questions defense and defense, and then a little bit of offense. Uh, they have to really figure out, uh, they have to clean up some things on defense. What else McCarthy would say? Because, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, maybe I'm conditioned from 13 years yeah. of that. But, you know. So if you think about it, I mean, they are a survival defense. They do, do you just like them enough to break? win. No. You don't like that. No. I mean, it's great. Go Reds they on have, defense, they're one of the tops in the league. They have four interceptions in the end zone yes. in the fourth quarter this it's season. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You know, uh, Trubisky at the end yep. in the opener. Kirk Cousins yep. near the end by Kevin King. Yep. Uh, Kevin King again, Derek Carr, mm -hmm. the, that was in the fourth quarter. And then I don't and know if this one was the fourth quarter. Tremont's was yep. a big interception in yep. the end zone. It's so a big – Well, one quarter is a big 
But you think know, about this, and they stopped Detroit five times. They kicked five field goals. Yeah, and they stopped uh, the Chargers four times. You there know, you go. so and but, they stopped but, Carolina fourth and one. How long do you live like that? I mean, you don't want to live like that. Yeah. It's great that they've made it this far yes. doing that, but we see. Um, we were just watching a play where you know there's broken coverage and and yeah. there's a lot of technique errors and yeah. miscommunications. Now we've seen that before with Packer defenses, and this yeah, one 15 and one defense. I think this one makes this defense makes up uh, for the mistakes with talent. They have a lot of talent. The two Smiths make up for a lot of. Weakness. Kenny Clark, Kenny Clark makes up for a lot. Yeah. Uh, you know, Adrian Amos is so solid. Uh, mm -hmm. King and Alexander are have their moments. You know, mm -hmm. Blake Martinez is all over the place. So they gotta they gotta match that talent with mm -hmm. performance scheme, don't you think? No, that's a good. Is that I think a that's, fair assessment? I think it's very fair because they lead the league in these explosion plays. But the reciprocal, they're a great red zone defense. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, you're going to play, play quarterbacks better than Allen, mm -hmm. who threw for 300 yards. Right. You just are. Garoppolo gives you opportunities, but the kid has been playing great. So you also understand that Russell Wilson, who can be the MVP, is, we know about Drew Brees. Mm -hmm. So And Cousins has been playing lights out the mm -hmm. last few weeks. Right. So it'll and, be a different group yes. of cousins when and they face And then Dak him. Prescott, I'm just covering the AFC, I mean the NFC, you beat him before, but he could put up big numbers. Mm -hmm. So all those quarterbacks you'll face if you want to get to the Super Bowl, and they all watch the same tape that me and you watch. Mm -hmm. So sooner or later, um, and the back, the bye week is a product of getting rest, self-scout, and really look internally how can we improve our team? Yeah. Now, they did bring a few guys off of injured reserve, but I'm thinking instead of 35 coming up to the line of scrimmage, it would be more Owen Burks, but you got a chance to see Jay Sternberger play a little bit more. On offense. So yeah. those are two guys, like almost like signing free agents, really, because they haven't been there. Yeah, so sticking with defense, yeah. uh, you know, they actually, the quarterbacks they faced have been pretty solid. I mean, pretty yep. good. They haven't yeah. faced the elite Wilson, Brady. No, no, no. Um, no, no, no you know, no. they haven't. Brees, Drew Brees, yeah. yeah uh, those yeah. guys they haven't. But Rivers has Russell been really Wilson. good. Cousins, I mean, Cousins, say what you will, but after that week two game, he went on fire. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's been, been on fire ever since losing well, he's been to the going Packers. To so. Kyle Rudolph, because the Packers covering tight ends is not that great. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I said Rivers already. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, so uh, even even um, Matt Moore wasn't bad. I mean, yeah. he's come back and played Very pretty darn well. Yeah. So yeah. now the following after Garoppolo, who had a bunch of turnovers in the yeah. Monday night game, then they got yeah. Daniel Jones. Yeah. Rookie, yeah. Dwayne Haskins, you know, backup. Or a case Trubisky one. again. Trubisky, yeah. You know, and then it's Stafford, Cousins and Stafford. You don't Stafford. know what it's going to yeah. be. Yeah. So yeah. it's looking good for them. They just they just got to shore some things up on yeah. defense for the playoffs, right? Now with the scheme in our body, we we wouldn't change the scheme, but we would look at why yeah. the underlying things, right. like the fourth down call. I agree with that call. So whether you want him to or not, I just want to look at why it didn't work. The execution. Because mm -hmm. you got to have your alignment, your assignment, your execution. Yeah. After a timeout, okay, you go to the sideline, what's your best play? That's the best play. Some people would have put Aaron Jones in instead of Jamal. But wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. It not wouldn't matter the way Gerald McCoy got right. off the ball. That's, it's not so much the call, it's what happened. Mm -hmm. Because people want to argue on social media, oh, he should have took the points. Forget about that. Whatever call I call, just execute it. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't lose five yards. No. And that's what I'm talking about. Because had he kicked the field goal, you know what people are going to say? Right. That's Mike McCarthy. Mm -hmm. You remember against Seattle? You heard about wanting mm -hmm. to go, and he kept kicking field goals? Yeah. Okay, here's a young man that went for it. And that's plus they were getting the ball. Right, they're getting the ball. Second half. 
but he went for it. I thought Packer Nation would be all on board with that. Because it was it went against the status quo that everybody's oh, I don't like McCarthy kicking well, all these things. They would have been for it if he made it. Oh, of course. You know, yeah, then everybody would have said But no one's gonna admit it. that. But I, yeah. I, I said to myself at the time, I was like, I'd kick the field goal. Okay. That's old I school. get why you're going for for it. You yeah. can really kind of put the game away with mm -hmm. a touchdown and then getting the ball with mm -hmm. another touchdown. So I get that kind of mentality. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I, I that's just me. At that, no, at okay. that moment of time, I didn't think they were winning the line of scrimmage enough mm -hmm. to just pound it in. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway. the analytics department probably favored him going for it. The I don't same, know. And I don't then the know. same uh, for Riverboat Ron, his analytics department yeah, said, said go, go for, for two. two. Yeah. So it's just, it's, but the locker room is excited, although they didn't make it. Yeah. But they also look at why did McCoy get in there and stop our guy. Right, right. And figure out. See, we lose focus on that because we're right. scared. Of, why didn't the call, call work? You right. know, and what could you do and the to get out of that call if, yes. if it happened again, you know, if yeah. you didn't like the defense. Let's let's go over to the offense okay. uh, while we're uh, at it. And the return of Devontae Adams has obviously helped them quite a bit, and it will yeah. continue. Well, people complaining that he had 10 targets against L.A.? I'm confused. Yeah, he had a... Uh, do he, we help him? Or, I just I thought you always want to get your best players the ball. Well, you do. Not... not um, you know, not for the sake of uh, forcing it to him. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my opinion. I thought they were very natural in getting him the ball against Carolina. When he had one-on-ones, mm -hmm. Rodgers went to him. Right. And Carolina gave As him some one-on-ones. Yeah. They had some injuries. That's why they were going. They knew it was a backup corner, a right. backup nickel right. back. So yep. we go after that guy. Yeah. I know the run game the worst with, in the league. Best against best. Yes. You know, or best so I have worst. no problem. I want Devontae to get 20 targets. Yeah. But I know I'm different. Now here, here's a nugget though. People say neither one of your backs caught a pass. Mm -hmm. Jamal had one target, but didn't catch it. Every time Jones motioned out, normally remember against Kansas City, it was a mm -hmm. linebacker. Yeah. This time when he motioned out motion out it was a corner yeah so what carolina said you know when you motion out we are not letting aaron jones run around on our linebackers it's going to be on a corner mm -hmm. so rogers did the right thing okay this just not the week for the running backs to catch eight balls it has nothing to do with Devontae adams yeah, yeah adams had the best matchup this week now next week Against San Fran, that may be somebody else. Yeah, I mean, he may not have as good a matchup with Richard Sherman. Right. You know, Richard Sherman. Right, and you'll go better. to your tight ends and backs. But yeah. um, let's talk about the the backfield because mm -hmm. they they finally got the run game going against the yep. pretty bad run yeah, defense. Pretty bad. Yeah, pretty But uh, Aaron Jones had 13 carries and Jamal Williams had 13 carries. Are yeah. you okay with that? Or Absolutely. Or do you want Aaron Jones to get I, I want it to be a nice dosage of a good tandem. Mm -hmm. I want it to be like when Kamara and Ingram were together. Yeah. When That's Kamara's true. by himself, he's hurt, mm -hmm. just like he's been missing. If you put all that stress on Aaron Jones, he may get hurt. But Jamal is a good player. Yeah, he is. Number 30 is a good player. It's not like we're taking him out and putting a scrub in there. No, no. I think I like it. One guy has 95 yards, one guy has 65 yards. Both of the guys can catch the ball out of the backfield. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it at all. I think it's a good balance. I, I, I completely agree with you. I, I think back to when you guys had Dorsey Levin and, and Edgar Edgar. Bennett, yes. And Dorsey was kind of the home run, home run hitter, or, yep. or you know the more guy with more wiggle. Yep. And Edgar got you all the tough yards. Yes, he did. And you need a guy like that, especially yes. now, you know, yes. when the field conditions aren't always. So the what best. people are gonna say though? Are these guys nuts? Aaron Jones is a special talent. He should get twenty carries like McCaffrey. Yeah. Blah, blah. Listen, and we were talking about this earlier on the offense. To get into the Pro Bowl, if you had three tailbacks, who would you put in? You know, McCaffrey, and you would do, obviously do uh, Dalvin Cook. Yeah. The third spot, Aaron Jones, Ezekiel Elliott, or well, Barkley's hurt, and Kamara's hurt. So it's between Ezekiel Elliott and Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones leads the league in touchdowns, but, you know, Ezekiel Elliott may have more yards because yeah. he's a featured back. Yeah, and, and so, you know, there's a change-up, too. So if you're... 
you're the linebacker and Aaron Jones is in the game, you know, you're expecting a cut, a hard cut at you. He's yeah. not going to run you over. Right. Then all of a sudden, Jamal Williams is in the game. And yes. You, you're playing the cut and he runs right over you. Yes. So yes. It, it, it's a good change up that way. I, yeah. I, I like what the way they used it was really yeah. effective. And that's, yeah. that's Matt LaFleur. And that's the reason why uh, Jimmy Graham. We have a play, stay tuned for X and O's. We have a play that Tom picked out that I didn't even notice this, um, but it's a way to get Jimmy Graham the ball and Aaron Rodgers. Brilliant play by Rodgers. Oh, I mean, I, he I, should get the Nobel Peace Prize for this one because this was amazing. Against the best line, well, oh, best inside linebacker in the, the game. The old banana one in the, the tailpipe. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He, he fooled him. I mean, that was really that was smart. A, a nice play to watch. That was smart. Um, you know, Rodgers continues. His, his numbers are not MVP-like. Mm. Um you know, he hasn't doesn't throw any touchdowns in the game, but I thought he was more effective uh, just running the offense yes. against the Chargers, which probably the run game helps him a lot. I right? think his ball handling is the best I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, you said it. that a lot this year. Yeah. His the way his fakes, he carries his fakes out. I mean, the mannerisms. Yeah, every now and then the hard counts. You may draw your guy off, but the defense is really thinking about it. Yeah. There's no coverage you can give him that he hasn't seen. Yeah. And for him to just kind of orchestrate that. And that's what he was talking about earlier in the year when he said you don't want to suppress a guy, you know, that's been around for a while. And people, oh, he's trying to change plays. No. He has to be able to do stuff like that, mm -hmm. to tell Geronimo Ellison to do X mm -hmm. so we can go to Z. Yeah. Or in this case, go to Y. Right. I thought it was amazing. Okay. Yeah. Um, next week, we'll uh, pick out some guys that we think have to be factors uh, yes. in the second half of the year. Yes. Uh, and go over yep. that. And yep. uh, also take a look at San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco will be a good one. Um, I definitely want to thank Potawatomi mean, um, Hotel and Casino for sponsoring. I really appreciate them. Um, it, they don't have a bye week. You can go there. They're always That's open. Right. They are always open. <laughs> Maybe we should go down there during the bye week. And I also want to thank Bill Schultz for helping us with this. And again, indeed, they're going to be undefeated during the bye week, right? Everybody just relax during the bye week. <laughs> You know, spend the weekend, have Watch a good time. Watch X's and O's. You can know, learn stuff. Rest up. Get ready yes. to come back to the live blog during the game. That, and, and make that run. back with us. So everybody yeah. have a nice bye week. Yep. And again, happy Veterans Day. Thank you so much for your service. And don't forget X's and O's. Yes. See you next week.